Hey guys, it's Kevin. Welcome to another video where I show you behind the scenes on how I created this picture of this glowing heart surrounded by all of these broken hearts. As you can guess, this is all done in Cinema 4D and uh, just a little bit of Photoshop as well. Uh, but I just want to walk you through step by step how I created this image and hopefully you'll be encouraged and motivated to create your own awesome artwork. So the first thing I did was um, I opened up Cinema 4D and I had to draw a heart. Uh, this is actually the hardest part of the whole tutorial or the whole project was uh, creating uh, this heart shape but I made it into a spline and then I was able to uh, extrude it uh, just give it a little bit of depth um, because this is going to be all of these broken hearts that are all over the ground so I wanted them to have a little bit of depth to it also added a little bit of bevel uh, to the edges here because you know I want the uh, the edges of the heart to be reflective to reflect that light uh, that's coming from that glowing heart but that spent a little bit of time just making sure that these hearts were the right shape the right depth uh, that I wanted then I could start turning them into broken hearts. The way I did that was with the Veroni fracture, which is a really great way to break your um, objects. And so I was able to use that. I just used a plane effector, um, which is really helpful to break that uh, right down the center of that heart. And uh, just a, a really effective way to do this. And so I didn't want to just have one broken heart that was repeated over and over. So I wanted to make multiple um, hearts with different cracks. And so I made multiple uh, versions here. With the Veroni fracture, it's very easy. You just change the seeds or you change some of the settings and it'll change that crack every time. And so I wanted to have multiple broken hearts uh, so when they are cloned out, you don't see the same heart over and over and over. All right, so once I've got all of those, I added a, um, just added a plane to the bottom. This is gonna be the floor. And I started to clone all of these hearts. I don't know the number I cloned, but it looked like about 100 or so uh, that I cloned. And uh, I just put some rigid body tags on them so that they would fall down to the ground. And uh, that would be kind of the surface there. But then I left one heart out, one heart that isn't broken. And then that was going to be my glowing heart. And so I went to Redshift. That's my render that I'm going to use. And I uh, added some global illumination to it. And I uh, just made sure it was the only light source in the scene, essentially. Essentially, um, and it would be the brightest part of the uh, entire picture. And so, uh, global illumination is pretty awesome in Redshift. And uh, I made that that heart glow right in the center, and then all of the other broken hearts around it. They just have a little bit of a blue tint to it. Um, they're very dark, and uh, you can do any color that you want, of course. But I think that the red lights and the yellow lights uh, blending with those those dark blue tones, I think those those work together well. And uh, so that's the color scheme that I uh, chose here. Now, the hardest part of this tutorial, or maybe not the hardest part, but the, the most time consuming part was figuring out where to put that heart. Um, because I wasn't sure where I wanted it to go. Did I want it to be floating above all of these broken hearts? Did I want it to be resting on top of them? Did I want it to be buried, etc.? And so I spent a lot of time uh, just figuring out where to put it at, you know, and uh, I wasn't sure uh, what the exact uh, composition was going to look like. Um, and these renders do take a long time. So I wanted to make sure that I got it right before I wanted to render it. Uh, the final render, it was going to take over 30 minutes to render one picture. And, and so I didn't want to just, you know, keep rendering, um, you know, keep wasting a lot of time rendering pictures that I wasn't in love with. The good thing about the uh, Redshift is it has this render view. You can see that in the middle of the screen. Um, it's given me an idea of what the final render is going to look like. And so that's very helpful as well. Um, but I, I really just spent a lot of time figuring out where I wanted it to go and um, my overall um, composition for the scene. Um, so I tried a lot of different things. You know, I, um, I, uh, I, I tried, you know, putting the heart right in the middle. I tried putting the heart uh, off to the left or to the right. Uh, I even, you know, put... Uh, you know, some some little blocking areas around the other hearts. So it would kind of be like buried around it and kind of like cover up the heart. And so I tried I tried a lot of different things here. And uh, a lot of times with 3D, it's just kind of like trial and error. It's just guess and check and just uh, figure out what you like and what you don't like. Um, I mean, that's all going to be up to the artist, of course. Um, you can see that cube right there that I've got uh, the cube right in the middle that's, you know, 
breaking apart all of the the hearts and then I put the that glowing heart right where that cube would have been. So that was one option I tried. Uh, but really I just spent I spent probably an hour trying to figure out where I wanted this heart to go. And then once I had the heart in the right spot, then I could go ahead and go to my render settings here, do a really big render, and then bring that in to Photoshop. So now I'm in Photoshop here and I don't have to do a lot. I just have to, uh, I just wanted to make that heart a little bit brighter. And so I just did some some simple um, effects here with some glows and some, some uh, different textures that I had and just overlaid those and did some screen blend modes and, and stuff like that. Um, but I just really wanted that heart in the center to be a bright white glow with that red uh, color kind of radiating out from it. And then I wanted the uh, the broken hearts to make sure they have that right color, that, those cool tones as well. Uh, but not a lot of Photoshop work. I've probably been about an hour and a half in Cinema 4D and probably 30 minutes in Photoshop or so. Uh, but just adding some final touches, and uh, I really like how this project uh, worked out, and uh, it was a really fun one to do. And so I hope that you're motivated by this little video to go out and create your own uh, 3D image. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you again next time, guys. Thanks.